welcome first of all to Tiverton. That's the town just over the wall. Uh, welcome to the Grand Western Canal. That's that bit of water just outside your windows. And welcome to one of the last horse-drawn barges in Great Britain. Long before steam was ever even thought of or invented, man had a need uh, in England to get goods and services from city to city, town to town. Horse-drawn boats were the idea, uh, but of course uh, there was very little in the way of uh, channels of water to get them there. So uh, we became a, a canal-building nation. Horse-drawn boats and barges kick-started our industrial revolution here in the UK. And that's something that I'm very proud of, and as long as I'm alive, determined to keep going. Horses are fantastic for this type of transport, they really are. The important thing is that it's not hard work for them. Many people see us uh, performing, uh, pulling the barge along the canal, and a lot of people do say to me, well, that's all very well, but isn't it cruel for the horse? My right-hand person, i.e. Lauren, my horseman, is going to be on that front rope, and she single-handedly is going to be pushing this barge more or less back by herself with you lot on it. Now would you agree if she is capable of doing such a thing, the horse has got a really easy job to do. Would you agree with that? Yeah. <laughs> there is fundamentally a 40 to 1 ratio, land to water. Um, and that means to say that one tonne on land, on wheels, is equal to 40 tonnes floating on water. It only takes a small amount of energy to keep it moving. This is uh, George, uh, he is our only cob here, he's a Welsh cob section D, kind of similar to the ones they would have used traditionally but still quite a bit bigger. We, we use the heavies just because they are such a lovely breed. We've got two shires as well uh, who are about 17 hands, so he is the smallest of the bunch but definitely has one of the biggest characters, he is the boss. <laughs> The position I hold is horseman, um, so my job is to look after them all. Uh, they are my babies. <laughs> um, and so I, you know, go and check them at least twice a day in their field when they're not working, uh, bring the one that is working down, um, get them all ready uh, and smart for the trip, get all the tack ready. And um, yeah, I also work as crew, so I steer one way up and um, walk back with them, which is lovely. I mean, they are a huge part of our team and of our family. Um, you know, we couldn't run without them. Um, and it's sort of kind of how you how you look after a family member. They really are a lot more than just work colleagues. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Welcome aboard, everyone. Welcome aboard. Let's go. I think the one thing that really excites me about Tiverton Canal Company and what we're trying to do is the living heritage side of things. Um, it's always said that there's a lot of dead heritage in the United Kingdom. Uh, this is living heritage. This is doing what the old boys used to do on the canals over 200 years ago. Um, and what excites me about that more than anything else is the fact that the average everyday person can come and be a part of that on the towpath. It's free of charge to witness. Uh, they can come on board the boat if they wish to and have a real experience of the same experiences that those old boys 200 years ago used to have. these aims which will then fit to the collar that will then fit to the bobbins now the bobbins um, are only here to really cover the chain that runs underneath so they're used uh, for when he is in the pull that the chain does not rub on him or pinch uh, so it's nice and smooth on his skin these bobbins run all the way back <laughs> to here <laughs> where they will actually 
step on to the whipple tree that is just over by that tree there um, and that whipple tree will come together at the back and then attach the rope which goes to the barge so all the driving that he does is from his shoulders so his strongest point uh, none of it goes from his neck because that's a really sensitive area it's where he breathes from so that's why we always make sure that even when he's pulling it's not blocking any airways nice and comfortable for him and right on his shoulder blades there um, which is yeah where he'll drive from slowing people down to two and a half miles an hour is an honor to do in this world that is so hectic uh, and in a world where everybody is um, flying around at 100 miles an hour and expectations of delivery yesterday we've forgotten what two and a half miles an hour is like my sole goal is to take you away from the 100 mile an hour and chaotic lives that you lead because isn't life chaotic at the moment and stressful and all of that stuff, and I want to take you away from all of that. I want to take you back 200 years, and I want to slow you down to two and a half miles an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, a very warm welcome to one of the very last horse-drawn barges. Thank you very much, everybody.